How to create a new Ansible collection step by step. First of all, we need to use the Ansible Galaxy command line tool and we need to specify Ansible Galaxy collection init with a name, in my case, test.test. .test. Uh, we got a message that confirmed the successful creation, and as you can see, this directory tree appears under my directory. It can comprehend all the important things for our new collection, but the most important is the galaxy.yml file that defines all the properties of this collection. Under the plugins, we can store all the Ansible module and additional plugin, as well under the roles, we can store all the Ansible role. Moreover, uh, we can define some variable for the runtime environment, as well as some documentation inside all the important directory. Let's take a look on the Galaxy YML that basically is a file that defines the license, the description, and also some information about how to report uh, bugs and uh, tracks. Cool. Now that we have the basic scale on, let's say the scaffolding for our Ansible collection, we would like to actually create uh, the deployment file. So Mm, this file will be useful for publishing in Ansible Galaxy and Automation Hub. Using Ansible Galaxy Collection Build, we actually create a, a tarball that is quite special and will be hosted in the current uh, directory. This is a full tarball, as you can see, that uh, is a comprehensive archive of, of all the files in the current directory, plus uh, a twist, the Ansible twist. So basically, this file will be compressed and it contains all the files that we have in the current directory plus a manifest and a file JSON. These files are actually generated by the galaxy.yml and contain a description of all the files that are in the current uh, collection and also um, the information about the collection. Cool. Now we have this archive and we can publish in Auto, uh, Automation Hub, if we are an enterprise customer, or Ansible Galaxy. Great! For example, we can publish in Automation Galaxy. So this is my login and I could add content and upload new collection. Let me select the tarball from my hard drive and upload it. Well, we reminded it up with this error if the namespace test, for example, doesn't match the username that you are using in Ansible Galaxy. So you need to recreate the archive. Easy peasy, we know how to do it. So I did behind the scene and now I'm ready to upload a new collection, the new tarball generated with my username, LucaB85, and I'm good to go. Well, there are still some errors based on the fact that I'm missing some information, but this is the process. You create a collection, you put some content inside, and you upload to Ansible Galaxy. Yay! Let's automate more.